what is up guys welcome to the bonus ddd deck profile uh this is the specific uh doom king style deck uh where we can actually bring out or the, really the main focus is to play the three doom kings that are out so purplish uh dark and bright so without further ado let's just get started with this deck profile uh this is purely for fun so by all means do not bother playing it at a tournament or anything uh we're just going to be playing this more so uh, for fun like if you had a casuals match with your friend or something like that then uh, by all means you can go ahead and do that but for now so far the deck doesn't really change too much we're actually adding a lot of monsters in though so there will be a higher monster count but basically uh, four copies of each of these is still uh, the standard norm here we're playing two copies of Copernicus and uh, three copies of Kepler um, this wouldn't be a Doom King deck without the original Doom King Armageddon himself, so I'm going to play at least one copy of him. Uh, we're going to be playing one copy of uh, DD Ghost here. Uh, I think it's also very important to play two copies of uh, Puppet Master. He will be crucial for the combo. And we're also playing two copies of uh, Vice Typhon. Um, he is also a very crucial card for the combo as well, so... Uh, because of that, I do need two of him in the deck, and uh, to end things off, we're playing two copies of Thomas. Uh, not so important in this particular case here, but that's it for the monsters. Uh, it is a very high count. I believe there's 24 monsters, so uh, let's move on to spells. All right, so moving on to spells, we're playing three copies of Gate, of course. I still think it's very important. Um, we're playing Swamp King, uh, playing three copies of A Law of Darkness, of course, so... Uh, not changing that at all. We want to improve consistency as much as possible. So, yep, Foolish Burial, uh, one for one. And we can also play uh, two copies of Called by the Grave. And, in fact, I am so uh, inclined to play uh, two copies of Pot of Desires again because uh, Desires, we don't actually need specific cards. But, um, you know, it's like of desires i'm okay of losing those cards uh because we want this to be a very fast type of uh thing and uh just drawing out as many cards as possible and the combo i'm about to show you is uh going to be a six card combo but it will still be a really fun combo and that's why for cards like a law of darkness or pot of desires uh we can pretty much get a six card in the hand but for trap cards we're playing one copy of the witch and we're also playing one copy of uh, eradicator here i'm pretty happy about this card coming back to three but for now, uh, at one, it's okay with this deck right now. So yeah, let's move on to the extra deck. All right, so for the extra deck, it's going to be very, very different from your conventional DD type deck. So we have a uh, Curse King Siegfried, of course, for Synchros. We are playing Alexander. We are playing Meteor Burst. And uh, the new addition is uh, the new Doom King Bright Armageddon here. So this is going to be a really cool card to go into. Um, but stay tuned until the end of the video for the combo. Uh, for XCs, we're only playing one card. We're playing uh, the Doom King Dark Armageddon here. And of course, for Fusions, we're going to be playing the uh, Purple Armageddon as well. So they're the three that we're going to try and get out in the combo video. Uh, but we're also playing uh, one copy of the High King Genghis. We're playing Beowulf. He'll be crucial in the combo as well. Uh, playing one DR, playing two copies of uh, Flame King Genghis, the original one. Summon Sorceress, very crucial card for this combo as well. Uh, playing Master King Archfiend, playing the Land for Rinkus, and we are playing Link Rebo. But that's pretty much it for this whole deck. Uh, no Crystal Wing, uh, nothing that goes uh, elsewhere as well. The whole purpose of this deck is really just going for these uh, Dark Armageddons, or uh, all these Armageddons in general, and uh, it's going to be really cool. So without further ado, let's move on to the combos. All right, so down to the combos, the six-card combo here. Unfortunately, I couldn't make it a five-card combo. It was way too difficult, and I think it's definitely uh, something that is insanely... Uh, required for someone who's much more skilled than I am with this. So if you guys actually have any ideas to actually go into these three Doom Kings uh, with a five card combo, then by all means, uh, do tell me down below, do let everyone know. But for now, I've agonized over trying to get it and I just can't. Um, so I'm going here with a six card combo, but it is definitely possible with a six card combo. So to begin, we're going to take a uh, Swell Slime and Vice Typhon and uh, Fusion Summon them together to go for our High King Genghis. From there we want to tribute off our High King Genghis which will allow us to bring out Puppet Master. Puppet Master when tribute summoned you can pay 2000 life points to special summon two fiends from your graveyard. So we're going to bring back our High King Genghis and our Vice Typhon. 
We can immediately just take Vice Typhon and the Puppet Master and Link Summon these two. Keep in mind, Puppet Master is a Fiend type monster, so you can actually bring out your Master King Archfiend right away. Pretty cool, right? Um, play our Swamp King to fuse the two Ragnaroks together, and they will bring out your first Doom King, uh, your Purple Armageddon. Right off the bat, Genghis activates, allowing you to actually bring back your Ragnarok from the graveyard. And of course, Ragnarok will special summon his other copy of himself as well, so we'll bring back the second Ragnarok. Uh, from there, we can take the Genghis, and we can take Archfiend, and together, since they're both Fiend monsters, or rather the same type, we can actually bring out Summon Sorceress. Now, we're going to bring her out in the uh, other zone so that it doesn't actually link to the purple Armageddon. But we have two Ragnaroks, they are both DDD monsters, so we'll just overlay them together, and this will allow us to bring out our Dark Armageddon. From there, we can actually take the Vice Typhon from the graveyard, and together with the uh, Genghis, our only other uh, DDD monster in the grave, we can banish the two together, and we can bring out our Beowulf. From there, we can use Summon Sorceress's effect to bring out something from our deck with the same type. So since Beowulf is a fiend, uh, or a Dark Armageddon, of course, we have to bring out another fiend from the deck. We'll bring out our DD Ghost from the deck, which is a level 2 tuner. We can take DD Ghost plus the uh, Beowulf, and together they will go for your bright Armageddon. And there we go. We basically have the uh, three Armageddons out in uh, pretty much a six card combo. So this will be performed during your second turn. But with the deck profile, of course, we are playing cards like Pot of, uh, Pot of Duality. No, not Duality. Pot of Desires. We're playing cards like uh, A Law of Darkness as well. So we're going to try and get six cards. Uh, specifically like this, it's going to be difficult. But uh, if you do have those six cards, this is what you can actually do for your board. So hope you guys enjoyed this combo. And hope you guys enjoyed this uh, bonus deck profile as well. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you next time.